my fat. Monday wrap up. Hey! Now that I got your undivided attention, this is Throwback Talk with V Fox, and this is the Monday wrap up. Check it out. There it is. All right, that's our final score. We know what happened in the Philadelphia game. Now, I warned us in pregame, I said this team is dangerous. And one of the comments I remember coming in on the comment thread from a fan on Throwback Talk was that this Eagle team would be desperate. I couldn't agree more because if you've ever been in a fight, you know that the most dangerous person you ever come up against is a person that's desperate and has nothing to lose. That's exactly the way this Eagle team played. Now, I got a little bit of a problem. My problem is not with the team. It's not with the fact that we lost the game. But my problem is that I sense a little bit of panic in Redskin Nation. Chill out. It's still early in the season. We're still 4-2. We're still atop the division. We got a long season ahead of us. Games like this happen. You don't want them to. You don't plan for them. And you certainly hope they don't happen again. But you can learn from these games. And the sign of a good team is how you respond to losses. Not the fact that you just win it every week. But you can learn from these things. And then you put those things into action. And it makes you a better team. Now, I do have some things that I do have some concern about. One thing in particular is our run game. So our running game is really suffering right now. Our starting running back only ran for 22 yards, and I don't think we even have 50 yards rushing as an entire team. So it's looking like it doesn't matter who we have starting at running back until we can actually establish a consistent run game, this offense is gonna suffer regardless. Another thing that has become a 9-1-1 situation for the Redskins are injuries on the offensive line. Well, it looks like we lost Lichtensteiger for the rest of the year, and Trent Williams is banged up for at least a couple of weeks. So we got a little bit of a patchwork line that we got to get fixed real quick. And I know you all want to know what I think about our quarterback situation. Well, it couldn't have been put into better words than what our man Santana Moss had to say about Rex Grossman and our quarterback situation. Santana said it best. He said, can we judge a player based on one game? We can't, because if you don't forget, Michael Vick had a four-pick game last week and came in and played great this week and got his team a win. So, we got to ride it out. Like I said in the beginning, this is our quarterback. And until another decision is made, we're going to ride with you, Rex. Don't get me wrong. It's great to know that if John Beck is called upon and given the keys to this ship, or if he's called on to come in and to relieve Grossman at any time, we know that he can come in and get the job done. He gave us a solid quarter of play, and he got us six points on the board. Our defense on the other side, I know we had a rough game. They got over 400 yards on us, but we can still be positive in knowing that this defense is headed in the right direction. We're still putting pressure on quarterbacks. We're still putting hits on quarterbacks, and we got two turnovers. We got two interceptions in this game, so we're still going to be okay. Let's not panic. Just like I said before, let's chill out. Let's relax. We got a long season. Ten more games left, and this Redskins team is still going in the right direction. One great thing I saw on the defensive side of the ball that gets me excited, though, is that we got Dirty 30, LeRon Landry, man. That engine is revving. He's going 100 miles an hour out there. He's hitting people. He's running all over the field making plays. If he gets his hands on some balls here down the line, I think it's safe to say that we may see Dirty 30 in Hawaii this year. So like I said, let's just take a chill pill. Sit back, relax, let's ride this thing out. We got a long season. Continue to support these guys. It's hail to the Redskins all day. Get it? Got it? Good. Catch me every week for pre-game and post-game analysis and everything in between.